guys what is up and welcome back to another call of duty mobile video now in this video we're gonna go ahead and look at up and coming characters as well as character skins for season 7 so a huge shout out to slash gaming for allowing me to use his leaks in this video all the credit does go to him and the youtube link will be down in the description so guys there's a bunch of awesome skins and i can't wait to go ahead and show you guys all of these amazing skins but firstly my giveaway is in fact coming to an end tomorrow on Friday so you guys still have two days to go ahead and enter and it is for three season six battle passes so all you guys have to, to go ahead and enter is subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and then also go ahead and leave a comment of your in-game name or your email address so I can go ahead and contact you if you do win but anyway guys with all of that out the way let's hop right into this video so here we go, the first skin is going to be Soap Hazmat. Now obviously guys, it isn't that crazy or anything, but it's pretty damn unique. It's the first like hazmat suit we've seen in the game so far, and it's Soap. Soap is such an iconic character, and you can actually see that it is Soap. Like you can see his head on the top and everything. It looks like his body structure and all of that. So overall it's pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie, I was not expecting to see a hazmat suit in Call of Duty Mobile. And you are going to see kind of a trend with all of these hazmat suits going on further into the this video but the first one soap hazmat is pretty damn cool in my opinion and then moving on we have this character over here that has no name in the game but his hair is like this bluish white i'm not sure if that's correct like if it's actually going to be that bluish white in the actual game but otherwise i don't know who this is but he looks pretty cool i guess he has like normal clothes on plus the bulletproof vest it's pretty cool i guess i'm not the biggest fan of the hair if the hair is going to be that color but it is what it is it's definitely not one of the most creative skins but it doesn't look bad by any means either and then moving on we have special ops 5 monster green and it is going to be like the first green basic skin on the list now this could possibly be a free skin in season 7 i'm not too sure usually these type of skins are free in the new seasons we're obviously gonna have to go ahead and wait and see what actually happens but overall i think it looks pretty damn cool and also the monster green uniform is actually quite nice and then we have Ghost Hazmat, and I am not gonna lie, so far, this is indeed my favorite character of Season 7 so far. Personally, I love Ghost. He is one of my favorite Call of Duty characters, and so far, I have every single version of Ghost in Call of Duty Mobile. And overall, I just really like the way this one over here looks. Now, if you look at his actual mask, like, look how cool it is. They've incorporated the Ghost mask onto this Hazmat, and I just think that is so cool and just so unique. So these Hazmat suits, you are gonna see quite a few of them, but I personally am quite a big fan of them and then we have kruger chemist this character is absolutely insane looking and look what i said guys all of these characters or most of these characters are all wearing some sort of mask to protect themselves from gas and that is so cool we have the hazmat versions now we have the chemist over here and the kruger one looks super cool i love the mask it definitely looks like kruger is busy making some sort of nuclear bomb or working with some sort of toxic gas or something like that but overall kruger chemist actually a very dope looking character and also look at his gloves you can definitely see he's working on some dangerous stuff somewhere in a lab but overall so far these characters of season 7 are looking very very good and then we have our second captain price skin in call of duty mobile price chem 141 i'm gonna be honest i am not the biggest fan of the skin over here i think the original price looks a lot better than the price chem 141 but it isn't bad like you might like it i am personally just not the biggest fan of the price chem 141 and then moving on to the more funky skin the alchemist and to be honest guys his mask kind of looks like a bird beak it's pretty interesting now also it looks like he is wearing an exosuit and overall he's one of the more funky skins of season 7 looking pretty cool it doesn't look like he's following like the theme of what the other characters were but he doesn't look bad he actually looks very very cool in my opinion and then we have another Seraph skin, Seraph Sicaria. And do not lie to me, so far the Seraph skins are all pretty damn badass. Like every Seraph skin has been super cool. This one over here is no different. I love the skeleton mask. That is so, so cool over there. And also the colors go to wear it pretty well. I don't know if it's just me, but I think the Seraph skins are some of the best skins in the game so far. And this one over here is no different. Another awesome Seraph skin over here coming in season seven. And then we have Kevin the chemist like i have no idea who kevin is but he looks pretty interesting he's uncovered in green 
and he almost looks like a chemist mixed with an astronaut. I'm not too sure about this character. Very, very weird one. I'm not sure how he exactly fits into Cod Mobile, but I guess he doesn't look bad. He's just, it's kind of weird. I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you think of Kevin the Chemist. And then another one of my personal favorites so far on this list, Bus Driver Ted. Now he is from Zombies, he is the bus driver on Transit. So it's super cool to see him in the game. Like I was never expecting to see Bus Driver Ted in Call of Duty Mobile. I think it's very, very cool and super, super hyped for this character over here. And then while we are on the topic of Zombies, Call of Duty, please bring back Zombies. Like me and so many other people really miss this mode. It would be amazing to bring it back and you bring back bus driver Ted so why don't you bring back zombies as well I think it'll be so damn cool and then we have another firebreak skin it's gonna be firebreak the astronaut and I'm pretty sure this is the second firebreak that is both an astronaut again like I think the last one was also an astronaut like the panda one I'm pretty sure both of these are astronauts it's kind of weird this one over here has a much more scary face and it's mostly orange which is pretty interesting it looks quite cool not the big Biggest fan of it, but it doesn't look bad, and it's pretty cool. Like I like the mask; it's like the scary mask, like this alien, it's just creepy mask, and it's pretty cool in my opinion. But anyways, that it is. Firebreak the astronaut. Then another spectral skin, spectral, spectral, and this one over here is super dope in my opinion. Has the whole sword on the back, the light blue on the front, and his entire mask or his helmet is very different from the current helmet from both the Geist and the other one from the Lucky Door. So it's pretty interesting looking. I quite like Spectre the character, so I'm pretty happy with this one over here, and it does look pretty damn neat. And then a new Ruin skin, but this one over here looks to me to be the exact same skin as the Season 2 Battle Pass Ruin. The only difference is it is purple and gold instead of green and gold. The purple looks better, but still, it's just like a color switch, but it looks cool because I love purple. But then again, guys, it is just a color switch. I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but it is cool. I like purple. I'm just not too sure about the whole color switch thing. And then we have this skin called Firefighter Hazmat. Now, like I said, guys, there is going to be a lot of these chemical and hazmat suits, but this one is called Firefighter. She doesn't have a name. She is just called called Firefighter, but then again, I like these hazmat suits quite a lot, so I do like the Firefighter version as well, and I think she does look pretty damn cool as well. And then another Ruin skin. Ruin has been getting a lot of love in both season 6 and 7, but personally, this one over here isn't that great. It's very similar to the Spade skin, and it's just nothing too new. So overall, it is a blue skin, and these are usually kind of difficult to get if they do put this in a crate, because it's going to have like a 0.5% chance. But anyways, that is the new Ruin skin as well. And then moving on to our final skin, a new Lev skin. That's very cool, because Lev Kravachenko is a pretty damn rare skin and now we're gonna have another one so i wonder how they're gonna put this one into the game he looks pretty cool i actually like this skin it's called the gallant i think and it does look pretty damn neat. it's like this whole grayish whitish look to it and i am quite a big fan of that so overall guys those are all the new skins coming in season seven what do you guys think? Personally, I am super hyped, and I definitely think the skins are improving of every single season. So anyway, please drop a comment, let me know what you guys think of all of these skins so far. Personally, I am so hyped for Season 7, and I can't wait for these skins to come into the game. But anyway, guys, I hope all of you enjoyed this video, and I hope all of you have a great day. But anyways, squally out, have a kick-ass day, and cheers, bye!